Good day everyone, it's Kluger back again here for some more Grim Dawn. I uh, thought we'd meet back in town and take care of a few things. Uh, since last time we got to Burwich, of course, and we need to tell Captain Bourbon of our exploits. So, g'day sir. It's swimming in ethereal corruption, John. Alrighty, so. He's telling us about the Warden Krieg. We need to find this man, or whatever he has become, and end his life. Domp, domp, domp. Heaps dramatic. Oh, man. Alrighty, so we gotta head back to Burwich and take care of the business. And what else do we need to do? So, this is Direni. You may or may not remember him. We found some cultist orders a few episodes ago, and he was mentioned by name. And he is compromising the security of this here Burwich. Burwich. Of uh, Devil's Crossing, of course. So, let's confront him! We found an interesting note in Burwich. Explain yourself. So, it is revealed that Dereni sabotaged the water pump. My goodness. So, he's pleading innocence, I'm just going to say, we have a deal sir, you're cool, you can stay for now, because he gives us a strange key. This will open something cool much later on, we will go check it out in due course. So, uh, what did I do, what did I do, I did a little bit of work off camera, just to clear a little bit more of Burwich. Um, Rather unavoidably, I did level to 16. Sorry, I've got new headphones and they're giving me the willies because they're not sitting comfortably. <laughs> anyway, uh, so let's check it out. You will probably notice, or I will tell you now, <laughs> you might not be able to see. I've actually got five skill points free now. Uh, the reason for this is I decided to buy back a few points here and there. After reviewing what I've done so far, I thought uh, reinvesting maybe a few of the points is worth checking out. So, what I did, I bought one point back from dual blades, because this is the most basic of the dual wielding skills, where if we just put one point in it, we can actually put, of course, more points into the subsequent skills. So, the point I took out of there, I'm going to put into Whirling Death. I also bought back Nidala's Justifiable Ends. Um, I was using that for the skill recharge, and I was finding, really, that for what we're getting out of it, it's probably not worth the extra skill point. So, I was actually going to try Ring of Steel, uh, 33 energy cost, and uh, 5 second recharge. Uh, what it does is 25% of your, your weapon damage, as well as 108 piercing damage, and stuns the target for 1.5 seconds. And basically, what this seems to do is surround us and sort of act as another protective barrier. So, we're going to give that a try and see how it goes. It sounds like it's going to be a pretty cool skill. So now, of course, we've got our normal three skill points. So, as per our plan, we're going to keep moving up towards this line of skills here. We aren't too far off. And where are we going to put... And I guess we'll keep investing into the dual wielding tree. And, yeah, we'll go another one into Whirling Death. Awesome. So let's head on out. You'll notice, of course, I have a portal already set to a specific point in Burwich. Um, as I mentioned, I did a little bit of work off the camera. Just to make sure we're up to a suitable point of the map. As you can see by the green colored business, I did this area here. And some of this area in here. So now we'll go sort of through this section here. And this kind of, if I remember correctly, comes around in this sort of shape as we go through the estates. Um, so we'll try and get through what we can in today's episode. Uh, possibly we'll need to break up Burwich into a couple episodes, but we'll see how things go. And bam! So, the more astute of you may have noticed that the quality of this episode is probably a lot higher than previous episodes. This is because I've got my brand new PC. This is the first episode I'm recording 
on my brand spanking new state-of-the-art Water Beast PC. And it is recording so smoothly, I'm so proud of it. <laughs> it was a great investment because I really do want to um, keep doing this for a long time, this whole recording games and talking on them business. <laughs> so I thought it'd be a, a worthwhile upgrade and it's definitely proven to be the case. Because you guys will have a lot more of an enjoyable viewer experience. And I'm having a lot more of an enjoyable playing experience, that's for sure. No choppiness or lag. It's nice and smooth and doing well. Alright, here's a good chance to try um, Ring of Steel. Oh, okay. That's a very cool skill, actually. I didn't think that's how it would work, to be honest. I thought it would be kind of more of a passive, but it's kind of, it's basically an attack, a once-off attack all around you. That's pretty cool. I quite like it. That's good crowd, crowd control. I was getting a bit concerned about, you know, controlling multiple mobs at once with this build, but that definitely allays my fears. <laughs> it's very nice, very nice. Let's do it again. Ready? What out. So if we boost our piercing down, we're just going to become a very useful skill for sure. And the, the recharge is pretty quick. I mean, that, that's... I'm happy with that. We can't forget Shadow Strike either, of course. But awesome. I'm digging it. Very much. So now we can go Shadow Strike. And then... Oh, that's a really good skill. Wow. Can't believe I skipped over that. Silly me. Boom. Excellent. And what's the other skill we're using all the time? Pneumatic Burst, of course. Of course. I try to keep that up permanently, almost, <laughs> within every fight. Because it's very good, very good indeed. As you can see, they are pretty much pop it on every build, on every build, on every group of, of enemies. I can't believe how badly I get my words mixed up sometimes, guys. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. It's a very handy skill, for sure, because it boosts our attack speed and our survivability in one and allows us to really maintain maintain ourselves in longer fights instead of having to duck in and out excessively. It is a thing I like. Alrighty, duck on through here. What do we got? What do we got? So we are in the Estates of Burwich now, where the slightly more affluent former residents would reside. Bam. So those extra points in Willing Death are already showing themselves. Definitely worthwhile rejigging those. Basically my goal is just to spend more points in the better dual wielding skills. Um, with a higher level cap, of course, I would have put maximum points into that first dual wielding skill. But as I tended to do with my dual wielding classes in back in the Titan Quest days, You'd put a single point just to get started in the dual wielding tree and then invest heavily in the stronger skills and then you come back to the weaker ones later. Very clever if I do say so myself. <laughs> but I probably got those ideas off uh, even more clever members of the Titan Quest community back in the day. Which is probably still thriving to a certain extent. Ooh. These, that's probably one of the new, uh, whoop, hi. Ah, wrong button. These jerks distracted me, I was trying to talk about the glorious stash over there. Who shoot? Go away. Um, yes. So they added this in, I, I think, build 14 or 15, where there's a bunch of really good once-off stashes. Um, after I open that, it's not going to be here again. And I believe it's tied to your level. But you know what? You only live once. What the hey? Of course. We get one green, and it's a shield. Oh, the irony. i got to tell you, drops have not been great for this guy. Poor, bar poor bugger. This is a decent little sword. Hmm, interesting. For sure, for sure. 
We've got two out of three on that cracked lodestone. Maybe if we finish that, we'll end up replacing whatever's there. I don't know. One step at a time, huh? One step at a time. That's also a good weapon. Of murder is a good... Oh, no. Of murder is a percentage of damage to humans. I was thinking it was an attack speed buff. Or a physical damage buff. But I was wrong. Bam. So, this is um, episode 13, I believe, of this playthrough. We're getting a good way into the alpha thus far. And at the time of recording, I have uh, my first 20 subscribers. So, thank you to each of you who are watching these videos regularly. Um, yeah, most appreciated that you're yeah, joining me very early on in this YouTube journey of mine. And I hope you don't unsubscribe. <laughs> Obviously. Uh oh, we got an ether crystal around. Yeah, that was a waste. Oh, we, we may need to bail. Bam. We get another pneumatic burst up. Kill the ads around us. Excellent. We're cool. We're cool. And you. Oh, you wasted life. We didn't nearly just die. Cool. Let's keep trucking along. We'll go up this way. We'll try complete most... Oh, cracked lodestone. How's that for timing? That skill's not ready. That skill's not ready. <laughs> yeah, we're going to try clear most of the estates. We're still looking for Kasparov's assistant, of course. Wherever he or she may be. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Bam. There's too many enemies, I haven't got a chance to sip my coffee. And bam. Take that ether crystal. Click it. <laughs> Far out. Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I had to do something. Ah, oh, crack loads then, of course. Come on, good completion. 10% physical, that's a good completion. That's giving us extra physical damage. That's only giving us two cold damage. Two to 11, that gives us a little bit of health. Hmm, decisions, decisions, eh? With that cracked lodestone on there, it's probably going to be pretty solid. Doesn't it boost our damage, our damage per second by three? I think in the long term that'll prove better. It'll scale as we get our attack speed out. That's all good. We'll stick with that. All right, we got to keep moving. Stairs down. Where you is? Whoops, that's a window. Now it's coffee sip. We're in a dank cellar. Someone has been here recently. Hmm. I wonder who it could be. <laughs> oh, that's a cool skill. Awesome. That's some crowd control for sure. This is going to be a good build. I'm not worried about it anymore. A couple episodes I was slightly worried, to be honest. That this may not come along to the build I had hoped it would be. Hey, who are you? Dalit. She can't believe someone found her. Kasparov sent us, silly. Go home. Woohoo! Maybe we will go visit her. I don't know if we'll manage it this episode. But certainly next episode. What ow? That's a lot of people. Zombies. Former people. You know what I'm saying. There we go, look at that for a combo. You use um, Shadow Strike to get in amongst the enemies. And then, yeah, hit him with the Ring of Steel. Boom! It's a good combo. Do, 
do, do, do. Well, while we're here, we'll clear out the remainder of the dang cellar. Maybe it's got stuff for us. That's a lot of people. <laughs> well, I keep calling them people. I guess some of them were once humane. Why did I say humane? Obviously, I meant human. Flat out. Get the fury down, because they are annoying. Now, I want to try and target the overseer. That blue buff that you can see is coming from him. And at least gives the enemies more movement speed. I know that much is true. I don't know if it increases their attack speed too, but... Whew. That was close. We got this. I'm pretty sure... If my eyes do not deceive me... Yeah, little secret room. Anything, anything. Some more scavenged plating. Resistant intro... Infantry Greaves of Readiness. Pyrr. More armor, different resistances, but offensive and defensive ability. Give them. Nice. I like. Oh, there's another chest. Woohoo. <laughs> Don't waste my time. Hello, sir. You probably should have stuck with your mates. You, oh, did you see that? I'm pretty sure that's a hero. Looks like he's fighting other dudes. Yeah. He definitely was. Meladictus. That's a cool name. Good name, bro. We're getting a bit hammered. He's hitting us for... You see those reds coming up? They are... Uh, mean hits. <laughs> Take out this rabid rat, because he'll be annoying... Now it's just myself, ourselves, us, <laughs> and Maledictus, hurting us with poison. Washa! Get him on another one of them. He's down. Come on. Ah. Oh, he's dead. What? Ah, oh, you kill stall. Someone kill stall. Must have hit him with the. Ranged attack. You jerks! Robbed. I was robbed. Come on. Pay off with loots. Who was I kidding? <laughs> Bloody hell. I think that's that, by the looks of it. I think this is going to take me out to an area where I previously was. Let's just look and confirm. Hello, the doorman. Thank you very much, sir. Where are we? Hmm, I guess I haven't covered this area, technically speaking. Don't, don't vomit on me, it's very rude. Bam. Have we got a chance to stop here? Where are we? Okay. So I think we were here, and now we're on this side. That's cool, because we can go back down and through there. No problem. It's so good. Warped Solid Club, what do you do? Get out of it. There it go. Is, was it... No. There. Aether damage. Aether damage. Da 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 You go. Awesome. We're moving along. We're approaching the end of this episode, then. We've still got a fair bit of Burwich estate to cover. So maybe we'll duck home shortly just to say hi to Darlet, make sure she arrived safely. And then we'll catch up next episode. Hey, hey, hey. What's this? I'm taking on a Fury and a Butcher at the same time, so I guess it is to be expected. Whirling Death is kicking in a lot now. It's cool. It's awesome. What you want? Did I aggro those guys? Yep. Schleddow. 
think I was slow during that shadow strike or just before I casted it. Stupid jerks. Alright, come on, we can clear out this little section. Up the stairs. He just wanted to tag along. For the ride. Clearly I didn't want him. <laughs> level 15? Noobs. You got a really low level. He was not ready. Bloody hell. Should really check. Okay. And this little corner. Uber Shiao. Attack just that attack just feels so good. You really feel the impact. How do you get in this house? Terrible architecture. Yeah. Tricky. And the doors on the front. Alrighty. Let's set up a door of our own. Dalit, my lady. Thanks for the timely rescue. Casper, I've spared no time in putting me back to work. Alrighty, now the cool thing is Dalit becomes our inventor. So, as an example, we got this thing over here. So this is a weapon with a relic in it. Component, rather. So we can either keep the item or keep the add-on. And we'll keep the add-on in this case. Thank you, kind sir. Or kind ma'am, rather. So yeah, she's cool. She's very handy to have. And I've got other things in storage where I want to um, get the components back. So maybe I'll do that and a couple other bits and bods off the camera. And then I'll meet you guys back in Burwich for the next episode. So, I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and or subscribe for more videos in the future. And have a very good day. So, for now guys, this is Kluger.